we have uh, released uh, two new libraries. One is the aircraft library uh, that uh, that has components that you can drag and drop and you can quickly create and test uh, new novel designs as well as you can also use that library to test uh, existing designs and understand uh, the flight mechanics, controllability, uh, and, uh, and check its performance. We also have a new uh, library called College Mechanical Engineering. Uh, this library is meant for, uh, as the name says, uh, mechanic, new mechanical engineers, as well as if you are a practicing mechanical engineer and you want to browse uh, concepts through kinematics, dynamics, uh, and those and the vibration concepts. Also, uh, in last December, uh, <clears throat> System Modeler version 13.2 was released. Uh, and with this version, we introduced concepts like uh, using a control panel that we call Explores uh, that you can use uh, to, in, to test different designs in Simulation Center. Uh, with version 13.3, you can now uh, make your uh, simulations more interactive you could add sliders and other interactive controls. And in this model, what I've done is for my forward motion, I have attached sliders to the input. So here, if I change, if I give some forward input, you see um, in the second plot, the orange curve is the, is the reference signal and the blue curve is the signal that my drone is trying to follow. So if I give it a signal more, you see the signal increases and now my dr my drone is following uh, is following my signal and by attaching these sliders you can uh, you can now validate so rather than just watching the plots you can actually see the model live in action you can now switch between different type of unit system for example let's say if you are in europe and you are used to using uh, si units you can uh, set global option for your a system modeler for a system modeler so that you can only get uh, units from SI. Uh, so here I am only shown units from meter, centimeter, and other units like feet, inches, which I'm not interested, those are filtered out. With version 14, it is also possible to attach custom units uh, to your library. Let's say you want to create your drone, you created the model, everything works, but now you want to you model to replicate a real world drone. And one of the component that is used in a drone is a motor. So you buy a motor from the market. Uh, now you want your, your model to mimic the model that you bought from the market. To do that, you first created, uh, you first, you took the motor uh, and you did some experiment on it. You gave it some input current and you got the input shaft velocity re readings and you got some experimental data for your model. Next, that you want to do is you want to calibrate your model such that the model parameters like resistance and damping are calibrated. So your model matches, uh, matches the experimental data. Now with version 13.2, we have introduced the system model calibrate function. And to this function, you can pass on the experimental data. And also you can pass on the different parameters for instance, in this case, resistance and damping that you want to tune. And then it will automatically try out different resistance and damping values, and it will automatically try to uh, minimize a loss function. You want your model to work for a range of parameter values so that when you create a model and you are trying to use it for different conditions, you want to see that uh, the model uh, does not go, the output of the model does not go beyond the tolerance limit. So you want to validate the results of your model. We now have a new function, or we will have very soon a new function called system model uncertainty plot. And to this function, uh, I can add uh, like to the parameter value win y, win y dot k. I'm adding a disturbance for which I'm not defining a value, but I'm just giving it a di normal distribution. And I want to ch validate of how my model behaves if my parameter varies as per this given distribution. I've also used, uh, I've also truncated my distribution so that the value of the disturbance doesn't go beyond acceptable uh, limits. And once I use a function like this, I get an output plot uh, 
like this here. And you can see the blue line is the median response of the height for the given uh, deviations in my disturbance parameter. And the orange curve around it, or, or and the blue, light blue curve around it, shows the deviation, the maximum deviation from the median uh, value. So using this function, you can test uh, the different parameter values uh, uh, and, and be confident of your model. Now, what you want to do is you want to share your models uh, with, let's say, your colleagues, friends, or students. And here I have my drone library, which has uh, all the different packages, and now I want to share it with others. So how can I create an installer from it? To create an installer, I would just right click on it and go to uh, export and then click library archive. And when I click like library archive, I am uh, presented with this interface uh, that allows me to create my installer. And now I can just click OK and I can have I can create my installer. So it's just a one step process. You just give a name and you're done. 